Good morning, good afternoon, Saints. How are you today? I hope you guys are doing great. Um, I have a short dream that I would like to share with you all, and I welcome your insights, um, any confirmation that the Lord might have given you on maybe a vision or a dream similar to this. So last night, um, you know, after our devotion, uh, me and my youngest son, um, you know, I asked the Lord as always, um, please give me um, dreams, give us dreams of things to come, Lord God, you know, give us wisdom and your instruction so that we are prepared. Um, and also, uh, I went to bed after I tucked him in, you know, did my own devotion, studied and worship. And then I went to sleep and I had some dreams um, that I'm not going to talk about here because it's pertaining to my family. Um, but then when I woke up at 5.30, which I knew I should have stayed up, studied, get in the presence of the Lord, you know, worship Him, do those things that I know that I'm supposed to do. Um, but it was a little chilly and I just wanted to cuddle under my blanket a little bit longer, you know, a few more minutes with the intention of getting up then. But um, as I was getting all cozied up in my bed under the, my blanket and um, I just whispered a prayer to the Lord and I said, Father, Master, Savior, please speak to me. I want to hear from you. Please give me a dream. I want to hear from you. So I prayed something like that, very short, brief, and then accidentally fell back to sleep and um, I must have slept hard because um, I had these dreams I'll just share a part of it because I don't believe I don't remember all of the details but this part right here I dreamt that um, I was waiting for a ride because um, for whatever reason I guess I didn't have a vehicle in my dream I dreamt a man picked me up and I was riding in the back of this truck I needed to get somewhere and I didn't have a ride. I didn't know the man in my dream. He was a Caucasian man around 40 years old or so. I hopped onto the bed of the truck. I believed it was a big white truck, like one of those big Ford, four door type, you know, huge masculine manly trucks. And he drove me to a field of soldiers all in rows, a couple of hundreds of soldiers lined up, dressed in black, dark uniforms, I want to say black, did not look like ISIS. It was more like a black dress uniform, but casual. I don't know if that makes sense. I can't tell what country they represent, but they looked Caucasians for sure. Could have been Americans, because I believe I was in America in that dream, but unsure. I was, I was super concerned, more like afraid, that they might attack me since I knew that we were not supposed to see the secret drills that they were in the midst of. So the truck that I was in drove right by them. And I looked at the soldiers out of the corner of my eyes, hoping they would not see us drive by them. They were like robots. They were, but they were human. But um, you know how soldiers are. They're very focused and like there's no emotions. These soldiers in black were in formation and ready for war. They were waiting on their commander to give them the whistles, the green lights to attack. They all had weapons in hands, ready to march and launch and attack. I saw tanks, missiles, drones, helicopters, and other weapons and machineries that I have no way of identifying with my lack of experience in that field. All I knew was some type of war is at hand. Who with who, I do not know. I could not tell. Please share any insights that you might have. I've been sensing in my spirit for a long time, and I've had dreams about war between Russia, U.S., Russia, China, possibly North Korea. And um, I shared that dream um, in one of my videos um, when the Lord gave me that dream April 19th, so you can check that out. I also dreamt that America was bombed out of nowhere, um, so that was in May 28th. So I've sensed and known in my spirit for a long time now, since I've had those dreams, um, that 
the United States, Russia will be in a full-blown war with China or uh, North Korea. They were Asians and I couldn't tell which country they were from in the dream. But we're going to war. Now this dream I had this morning, I'm not sure if it has to do with that or if it's martial law. I'm not sure. So, but whatever is going to take place, one thing for sure, we need our Savior. We need to be in His refuge. We need to abide in Him. We need to learn now to seek Him, seek His Word, abide in His Word, hide His Word in our hearts, dwell in the secret place of the Most High, because Psalm 91 is the promise of God, His provision, His protection for those who abide in Him, those who abide in the secret place of the Most High, those who love Him and obey Him. So I just want to share three scriptures to encourage us, to help us to keep our eyes, our hearts fixed on Jesus in these uncertain times. Be watchful for the day, Luke 21, verse 35 and 36. For it will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth. So keep watch at all times and pray that you may have the strength to escape all that is about to happen and to stand before the Son of Man. Live sober, righteous, honest lives with God and others. Forgive people, pray for those who has hurt you, and release them to God as Christ has forgiven us of all of our evil deeds. Christ has forgiven us, so we must forgive others. If we do not forgive others, we will not be forgiven. And that's a promise in His Word. And we want to be forgiven. Amen. Titus 2, 11 through 14 says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah who God himself, who gave himself for us, that we, he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. If we have been born again, we have the Holy Spirit of God indwelling in us. We will overcome the power of sin. We will have a desire for godliness and righteousness because that is the fruit of salvation and zealous of good works is another one Micah 6 8 through 9 I'll end with this he has told you O man what is good and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God the voice of the Lord will call to the city and it is sound wisdom to fear your name. Fear God, obey God, love God, believe in him and obey him. Faith without works is dead. So true faith comes with work. Not because we have to work it up, but true faith has the spirit of Christ attached to it because he is the author, the perfecter of our faith. He is the spirit of God Almighty, the, the spirit of our Father, the spirit of our Savior, the Holy Spirit. So if he's in there, we will have true faith that is zealous for good deeds. Amen. Hear, O tribe, who has appointed its time. It is sound wisdom to fear your name. Fear God, love God, obey Him. God bless you. Thank you for watching. I love you all. God bless you.